today is the first day of school and I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit nervous um, I just woke up and put my face on basically and I have about an hour until our first class starts and I'm not gonna lie I am so like I like anxious I feel like I don't even know what I'm doing I stayed up so late last night and the night before and the night before and so long just trying to figure out um, all the different functions of Zoom since that's what we're going to be using and setting up my Google Classroom and then I had a couple students email me last night saying that the code for Google Classroom wasn't working and I was like oh gosh now what um, but one of them told me that they used the codes for my teacher page on our school website so I went to that that teacher page and saw what I put there because I stayed up until like 3 in the morning doing that a few days ago and I realized I didn't put the classroom codes, the Google Classroom codes, I actually put the Remind codes. So they're trying to get into Google Classroom with a Remind code. So if you don't know, Remind is an app where like I could text students safely. Um, but yeah, so I messed that up. I had to change all of that. And then the cool thing is I found out that Google Classroom will automatically populate your students if you just link it into Aries, which is so cool. But unfortunately, my school does so many schedule changes at the last minute and even after we've started that once someone's schedule changes or they add someone into my class, it's not going to automatically populate. I have to actually like invite them or they have to enter the code. So anyways, Tommy is going to be a problem. I am seeing that very, <laughs> very much because he needs a lot of attention. And when I'm on Zoom meetings and he starts barking, it's going to be pretty crazy. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do with that. But yeah, so I'm doing my daily check-in. This is what it looks like. Um, all we do is we have this Google form and we're supposed to fill it out with our name, whether we're a teacher or whatever, and then on site or off. And then um, checking in and checking out and then all this stuff. So basically, um, if you are working on, sc on school site, you have to fill out all this all this stuff that like if you've been in contact with anyone who's had the virus or who's traveled or whatever which is pretty normal and customary now for anything but I would love to go to my classroom I would love to decorate it. I'm seeing so many videos of people decorating their classrooms um, but I'm gonna be honest I work and live in a hot spot for the virus and there's been so many cases of the virus on our school campus and I just don't even want to go into that area where people have been reported to have it. Um, I myself am high risk in two categories, so I don't, it's just not worth the risk. But I am trying to get ready for the classes and I'm gonna show you how that goes. I'm just gonna like set up a little tripod from the back um, and hopefully it goes really well. So let's go. All right, so this is my desk set up for work. I have two separate laptops. That's because this one will be running my meeting for Zoom. And this one is going to be a student in that Zoom. So I can see what the students are seeing from this laptop while I can also be the host on this one. The reason I do that is because I don't know everything about Zoom right now, so I, tested it out last night. I was up until, like I said, midnight, pretty late, just trying to figure out the different functions. And I actually found out that my MacBook is a dual core while this new one is a quad core. And unfortunately, you can't do as much with a dual core computer, like setting up backgrounds and stuff as you can with a quad core. But the reason I'm doing the hosting on this one is because I have my iPad here and I'm gonna be using my iPad for um, the whiteboard. So Zoom has a whiteboard feature, but to be honest, it's not very good because I need a cursor. Like I just need, or not a cursor, I need a stylus. So I have my Apple Pencil too here and this one allows me to just draw. So instead of using the whiteboard feature on there, I'm just gonna be, um, sharing the screen of this one. So when I go over plot, I can literally just draw the plot diagram and draw into it while all the students can see. And I can see what they're seeing on this one. That's why I have all three of them set up. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately I can't airplay my iPad with this laptop. If I could do that, I would probably use this one, but I don't really have time to try and research it. And I haven't really had time lately because I've just been so overloaded with work. 
So my district decided to give us so many online trainings for like technology and they taught us all about, you know, Gmail and Outlook and Aries and Flipgrid and, you know, everything. But honestly, they didn't teach us the most important thing and that's Zoom or Google Meet. So I kind of had to teach myself. So it's been just pretty hectic. I'm not going to lie. It's been so hectic because they have given us so many trainings that we had to do. I I was so burnt out. Like I would show you all of them. <laughs> like I get, well, I'll show you right now. I'll show you all of them. Okay, so I just went to try and find them and they're gone. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Our principal said they would be there all year, but they're not. So can't show you. But there were so many. Like I was overwhelmed. Another thing that's going to be a problem my neighbors you can hear them doing their lawn whatever sawing honestly i have the worst neighbors in the world they are the worst their daughter goes up to their window which keep in mind my window's right here her window's five feet away like maybe not even five feet she goes up to the window and starts literally goes into the curtains and starts banging on the windows so loud um they have parties there all the time they're so loud and not to be like a negative nancy or whatever but they are so loud it is ridiculous especially on work days like you're having a party drinking on a work day so like blasting music in their backyard and uh, they do fireworks all the time like every single night every single night they do fireworks they complain about literally everything they complain about our sprinklers and like they just they're ridiculous they're so bad their dogs never stop barking um i could go on <laughs> like i could honestly go on but i just don't have time for that but, uh, let me tell you about something that happened this morning at three in the morning um someone was picking them up in their driveway and they were laying on the horn they're like maximum 10 feet away from my window laying on the horn of their car to try and get someone to hurry up and get in the car at three in the morning and they laid on that horn for like at least an entire minute straight and kept honking and it's they just don't have any like I don't know the word they just don't care about anyone around them and it's just so so tough that's why I'm like if I could go in my classroom I totally would but with all the cases that have been confirmed at our specific school site it's just not worth the risk and we're just gonna have to deal with it and kind of work as best as we can and like everyone's saying just take it day by day so I am going to write in my planner get everything ready for what I'm supposed to do in each of my classes and then I'm going to send an email out to my students to say, hey, here's a link. We're getting ready. We're starting in just a few minutes. So it's 8.16 right now. We start at 9. I sent them out an email last night to kind of give them like an update of everything and didn't get any responses. But with the schedules changing, some kids didn't even get it. So it's really frustrating. So I'm just going to get everything ready and then we're going to start our day. So good luck to me. Here we go. All right, so I'm just about ready to get my Zoom meeting started. I sent out an email to all the students about 30 minutes before we did start or we're going to start. And I'm really nervous. We have like three minutes until we like start the meeting. And I already had like three students in at 8.30 and we don't start until nine. So I'm like, dang, <laughs> and that's good because I don't know, I'm just, it's good to see that kids are already on top of it. So I'm really nervous, but here we go. I'm so excited. Okay, so I just finished my first period and my second period, and I totally forgot to record it, so I apologize. Honestly, all you would see is just me kind of, like, doing stuff on my laptop. Um, but yeah, so I have two laptops on my desk, and it's so helpful to have my laptop where I'm hosting the meeting, and then another one so I could see the, what the students see, but I've noticed that my other laptop for the student view... Whenever I share the screen, like, it just gets so laggy. And then I figured maybe I should just connect an Ethernet cord to my MacBook to, like, better the internet connection. And I found out that my MacBook doesn't have a port for <laughs> an Ethernet cord. So that's kind of sad. So today I have to go out to Best Buy and get, like, a little adapter or something so that I can plug in an Ethernet cord to my MacBook. But let me tell you how it went. So basically, um, when I went into my first period, I opened up my Zoom at 8.30 and there were already kids in there at 8.30 like waiting in the waiting room and unfortunately, 
I was trying to get my student account into the Zoom meeting as well and it wouldn't show up so I couldn't just allow my own account to go into the Zoom meeting without letting everyone go in. So I didn't want to let them in at 8.30 in the morning because it was still a half an hour and I still needed time to prep and get ready. But first period went really well. One thing that I'm noticing is how scratchy my voice gets and how like dry my voice, my throat gets. And I just, I feel like I'm already losing my voice and it's only the first day, <laughs> like literally the first day and I'm already losing my voice. So it's something that I have to work through. I definitely need to have a water bottle on my desk so that I have water, I have water to just grab and like kind of, you know, coat my throat. Um, but yeah, so first period went really well, but I forgot to record me doing it from like for you guys, but I also forgot to record my screen for the students who didn't show up. So I had 15 students show up and that's really good. Unfortunately, it wasn't everyone. We I had, I think, 27 kids on the roster, um, but that's pretty normal, especially for, for, for first period. Like, at my school, it's really normal. Um, so it was actually, like, pretty successful. Um, yeah, first period went really well. That's my drama class. And then second period was right after it, and after second period, like, after first period, they have a five-minute transition time to get from their first period to their second period, especially since it's on the Zoom. They have to figure it all out and then find the links and stuff, and second period didn't go as well at the beginning just because I didn't have any kids for the first 15 minutes. Like, it was just me, the host, in the Zoom meeting, and then it was my other account, my student account, so that I could see the student view, and 15 minutes later, I finally get students that show up, and it's perfectly normal. Like, I'm expecting them to be late because it's like you're still learning like like most kids probably didn't get an email from their teacher on time or they couldn't get the code for this or their internet was that or whatever like all this stuff that happens especially the first day it's all like a learning curve that we all just have to like deal with and I was just kind of sitting there like all right so what do I do um, but it gave me enough time to set up the recording to record my screen so I did record my screen for that class, that was the English 9 class, and I have to go through that and edit it a bit and then post it on the class website so that the kids who didn't show up were able to see that and still kind of like watch the lesson even though they weren't actually in the lesson, if that makes any sense. Um, I automatically have kids muted so when they enter the class it's not going to be a disruption, but at the same time um, I did give some of the kids the option like... Um, I like invite them to unmute themselves if they want so that kind of gives control to them and there were a couple kids that um, didn't realize that they weren't muted so you'd hear like stuff in the background kind of all over the laptop and stuff um, so I had to just remind them like don't forget put yourself on mute so we can all like hear correctly um, but it went really well second period the only issue was I only had six kids I had 20 or 21 on the roster and I only had six that showed up and keep in mind they're all like um, still kind of new and figuring it out so it took a little while to get in there but I only had six and then I was thinking like there's there's no way like it's only six I don't I don't understand maybe I did something wrong like maybe my link is wrong or something I don't know like what am I doing um, but I just talked to the six kids and I kept an eye on my email to make sure like if anyone needed help getting in then I was there to help them out and Kind of respond to emails while I'm teaching so it's like definitely juggling a lot of different things and yeah but I think it went really well the lessons went really well but even second period like my throat was so dry like my my eyes were watering it looked like I was like legit crying so in the video I'm like wiping my eyes because I'm like crying from like my sore throat um but aside from that I think it went really well the kids in my first period were more talkative in the sense that like although they weren't talking on the microphone there's a chat feature and they would go into the chat and ask questions and then I could just respond to them immediately but my second period I didn't have a lot of chats I didn't have a lot of uh, talking in general um but I think that's just because I had less students so I finished my first and second period and t we're in like a, a block hybrid schedule even though we're not really in person hybrid if that makes sense so Monday Wednesday fr Monday Wednesday I meet with periods one two three and Tuesday Thursday I meet with periods four five six and then Friday I meet with everyone so today is just Monday so I only meet with periods one two three and third period is my prep period so I am in my prep period right now I have like my little break um, and during the prep period time I'm supposed to prep for all my other classes and then after that we 
fill out this form which is like our learning plan so it's basically like you have to enter all the important information of your lesson plans into that form so literally you need a standard you need an objective you need everything notes if a student was having trouble logging on or whatever the issue you have to type that in like literally everything in there and it's just something something I'm really kind of trying to work through right now is that we're supposed to take role within the first 15 minutes of class but our classes are an hour long and the first 15 minutes of class if I'm taking role you know I'm not teaching and I'm technically supposed to be teaching two lessons in that one hour that one day we meet because I'm not gonna see you tomorrow tomorrow you're doing it all on your own on Google Classroom so trying to fit in two lessons into one hour is kind of a lot and my first period and second period we finished the whole thing like right at the end of class and it was like perfect timing to get everything done but at the same time like I only did one lesson <laughs> so it's really frustrating because I have to do extra work and because I didn't get it all into that zoom meeting I have to film two videos for the kids that didn't show up and the kids who did show up they get that one video so it's like I'm teaching live my lesson and then if I don't get to the other one like I have to make a video for it so it's like I'm teaching live and then I have to make two videos every day and that's like it's it sucks because I have different classes that I teach I don't teach just one class I teach multiple subjects so it's definitely a lot of work and it's it's just tough <laughs> it's really tough especially for attendance because I teach the kids and I've taught like I, I went over it four times to um, like check in for attendance so on our website they have this form that they're supposed to fill out like literally a Google form and they put their first name last name period number and student ID so that's kind of like your attendance and I went over it four times and then um, my second period although I had six kids only four of them checked in and if it wasn't for that random like I don't even know why I did it because I wasn't gonna do it I was just kinda looking at like the different blocks and like searching through them to write down the names on my little planner page and if it wasn't for me writing these little names in here they would be absent so it's kind of tough because you have to take role live but then you don't have time to finish your lesson or you can do the check-in but then you miss kids who are absent who are in the zoom meeting but they forgot to check in or whatever so it's a lot to work with but it's it's you know gotta take everything one day at a time so right now is lunch time basically it's 12 o'clock and lunch time starts at 12 10 so all the students are basically going to have to walk to their school and pick up their free lunch and then they go home and eat their lunch and then they have the rest of the day to work on their work um, I already gave my students their first assignment and then um, yeah, they're just working on their work. But teachers, we have our lunch time, which is not, the students get an hour, but the teachers still get 30 minutes, uh, which I get. We don't have to like go to the school and pick it up, you know. But um, our lunch time is only 30 minutes. And then after that, we have time to do our learning plan, which is what I went over, like the standards and lesson plan stuff, which I already did. And I'm already done with that. And then after that, we have like tutoring time so like office hours so office hours are I think from like 1 to 2 30 or something like that um, so basically I'll just keep my um, zoom meeting open and then any students that want to drop in they can if they have any questions or need help with their assignment like how to turn it in or if they just miss the meeting they having technical issues they couldn't get in um, I can kind of help them out there too because I haven't um, edited and uploaded the recorded meeting so it's just a good time for them to come in and get help um, but I was going through my email and I got an email from the principal saying that there have been so so many problems in the whole district with students connectivity wise um, because every single student in the district is trying to log in to their Aries at the same time everything is going so slow for them and something about the hotspots not working correctly or you know just so many technical issues that are going on in the district and um it's understandable because it's the first day you know I'm learning too the kids are learning too we're all learning it's just new for everyone um but when there's all these different obstacles it's like dang like this is not going as well as we'd hoped but but you know the first day first week things are bound to happen um but hopefully those are getting fixed very soon and um 
hopefully kids are able to like come into the tutoring so basically for the tutoring I'm just opening up my zoom and kids will come in whenever they want it's not mandatory it's optional but if they do need help on something they can come and ask and um, it's just open until 2 30 and then that's the end of school so after that tutor t tutoring time we're done um, and then I'm gonna go to Best Buy and I'm gonna get this adapter for my laptop so that my internet can kind of be a little bit better myself and then um, when I do like sh share my screen on zoom kids aren't gonna see that it's so laggy and everything so that's how it's gonna go and then tomorrow I have periods four five and six and I am gonna be teaching the three periods so today I only taught first and second because it's my prep but tomorrow I'll have three periods four five and six so it was a good day I think it was really good um, the student, a lot of the students were really proactive and like emailing me ahead of time if they had connectivity issues or there was an error message or something they let me know. Um, so it was really good and I'm hoping tomorrow is just as good and hopefully the connectivity for everyone gets a lot better by then. But yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. I'm sorry I wasn't able to record myself actually doing things, but to be honest it would just be like maybe a few minutes of me speeding up the video of just like typing and like talking and whatever you know <laughs> so I'm gonna try and do that for you within the next coming few days um, if that's something that you want to see so but yeah I think it went really well I'm excited for tomorrow and I definitely have a lot of work to do for the recording and editing of those videos but I'm gonna go ahead and get get to work on that right now um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're not following me on Instagram follow me on Instagram it's amanda.teaches I believe it's linked in this like a bar on my um, profile for YouTube um, but I'll put it in the down bar too you can check that out so follow me on Instagram um, like this video subscribe if you have any questions or comments let me know in the down bar below and if you started school let me know how your first day went or your first week or whatever how however far you are into it and let me know how are things working for you Alright, so I will see you next time. Bye!